<laughs> so thrilled to have you here today, Dr. Marcio Rocha Mello, the founder and CEO of the Namibian Energy Corporation. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being many here. Many thanks. Many thanks. And good morning. Um, I'd just like to start off with you were the first person to point out that the Namibian petroleum system had great potential and that it could hold up to 100 billion barrels of oil and gas. What made you so sure and to the point of publishing more than 45 articles in international scientific magazines uh, like 20 years ago? I started my career in Petrobras 49 years ago. And very young, I was the head of all laboratories of Petrobras in Brazil. And um, when I entered in Petrobras, Petrobras was producing 100,000 barrels. When I left Petrobras and I retired, we are producing more than 2 million barrels a day. And today, we are producing what the sixth largest producer in the world with more than 4 million barrels a day. But how am I sure about that? Because I did my master and PhD in molecular geochemistry in Bristol, and I was the first guy in the world to characterize and to define the DNA of petroleum. Mm. And then, because I was the head of laboratories, I deciphered quantitatively the DNA of all petroleum in the coast of Brazil. Mm. And I come to Africa, I did the same to Africa. And I saw that Namibia was the same DNA of Brazil. And I published, I'm the guy that most publications did in the history of Brazil about petroleum system. And when I did that, and I retired, I say, I'm going to Namibia. Because nobody believes in Namibia. And I have the data. And the data is the most important information for you to find oil. And I publish. And you say, why? Because uh, if you put the continents together, mm. we share the same source rocks, yeah. the same petroleum system. If in the other side of Brazil, in Santos and Campos, mm. we find 50 billion barrels, wow. how much you have here? Yeah. And then you, you have to dream. In, in the oil exploration, you find the oil in the, in the, in the mind of the geoscientist, mm and in the point of a drill yeah. rig. Mm. And then I sold this dream to other people, mm. and I transformed my service company in an oil company, and I did the largest IPO of Brazil in 2010. We get almost $2 billion, and I came to Namibia, and in 130 days, I drew the first three deep water wells in Namibia. Because nobody believes in Namibia. Namibia was a gas country. Mm. For 40 years, we did the discovery we could do in 1974. Mm. And I, I discovered oil. When I say I, I have the most fantastic team of ex-Petrobras people. Mm. And that, unfortunately, we discovered the oil. We broke the paradigm. But there is oil in Namibia. Mm. And, uh, things happen in 2022, 23, and Namibia, Namibia become the hot spot yeah. of oil potential in the world. People say that I'm exaggerated when I say 100 billion, mm. but it's the only country in the whole South Atlantic that 15 well was drilled, 13 find giant oil fields, wow. never before. Wow. And just in Orange Basin, yeah. and the rest. Mm. This is why I'm so sure about that. And uh, what do you expect for Africa in general? And if you could dive in deeper to Namibia for the next few years. N N N Namibia is, is the continent of the future, mm. OK? Brazil is the continent of the present. Mm. Namibia is the future. 600 million people, young people. God, God look for Brazil and God look for Africa. Mm. You have the largest mineral resource, fantastic agriculture potential, mm. not speaking oil. And when people say, oh, let's go for sustainable energy, 
your footprint in the whole world is 5%. Yeah. You know, in 50 years, the Western civilization could be like Africa in sustainability. Mm. But we have to exploit all of this mm. richness mm. for African people. Yeah. We have to fight for security energy. Mm. And the population of Africa, you know, less than <laughs> Uh, around 50% is less than 22 years old, then tell me, which is the country of the future? Yeah. Yeah. You agree? Yeah. <laughs> Africa. And not only Namibia, mm. but in Namibia, today is the hot spot, is special because uh, we discover oil in South Africa, I guess, mm. not too much, but we discover. Angola has his golden time, Nigeria, Gabon, Equatorial Guinea, Senegal, but you cannot compare this with Namibia. The potential of Namibia is unique. Mm -hmm. And I like that you mentioned the, the Orange Basin earlier. And um, how about Luteritz and Walvis Bay? What can, what can we expect from those areas? The same. Mm. Because Luteritz is the name of a basin. Luteritz is the name of a river. Mm. And because they drill there, they say, oh, Luteritz Basin. Orange is the name of a river. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the name of a basin. Mm. But uh, in terms of geological features, tectonic stratigraphic features, this is a unique basin. Mm. It's the same. Mm. Then the same potential of Orange will be easily reproduced in Luderix. Mm. And look, I never, I apologize for that. I never made a mistake in my life. Mm. People say, why, this guy is crazy? Mm. I'm not crazy. I'm a scientist. Mm. And the numbers don't lie. Mm. And we have the numbers. We have the data. Valve is a little bit different, OK? Mm. But has a potential as well. But Luderix and Orange Basin are unique. Mm. But how many wells will drill in Luderix up to today? One. How long? How long? 30 years ago. Wow. Where? Shallow water. Mm. Namibia is a deep water country, like Brazil, mm. because the source rocks that transform by temperature in oil, they occur in deep water. Mm. Then when we start to drill in Luderix, surprises are coming. Mm. Then Look at the potential, 15 wells, yeah. 13 giant. Mm -hmm. Never, even in Brazil, yeah. even in Guyana. Then you guys, Africa is really blessed. Mm -hmm. And South Africa has a, high, a very high potential as well. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we've talked about the countries, let's talk about you. Like, what can we expect from you and the NEC in the upcoming years? First time that I come to Namibia, and you say, I publish a book. And my book got the prize of the best book published in the APG in the year 2000. Yeah. And the chapter 17 of my book, 2000, was about Namibia. Mm. And then I start to dream with Namibia. Mm. Then I came here 2004. And since then, I have not left. <laughs> Then, and I'm a guy that I had, um, at the time, the second largest company in Brazil. Mm. I explore oil in Brazil as well. Mm. And Brazil has a huge potential, mm. fantastic potential. But I put Namibia as my dream. Mm. And I come in here, and I fulfill my dream. Mm. I, 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 I'm very happy to have a legacy to be the guy, a company that the first drilled deep waters of Orange yeah. and Valvis. I didn't drill Luderick at that time, <laughs> OK? Yeah. But suddenly, uh, because of other factors, as I was obliged to leave in Namibia and come back to Brazil. Mm. But I'm back now, mm. you know? And I'm very blessed. Um, Namibia has a very organized um, system. Mm. Uh, you have um, a very good um, company that's Nancor. Mm. That is getting better and better and better. Um, you, you have a, 
uh, the government really uh, put a very solid uh, framework, uh, uh, friendly framework mm. for investors and for people that want to come to Namibia to share, to contribute with Namibia because the oil that you have belongs not to me, yeah. belongs to the people of Namibia. Yeah. Because I, I did that in Brazil. Mm. Then we have to get all this, this bonanza, all the resource, mm. and contribute to share mm. with the government and the people in a sustainable way. Yeah. And because there is a piece of the cake for everybody. Yeah. But I want the most of the cake for the Namibians. <laughs> Just give them a little bit. <laughs> and you know, we're here at African Energy Week. What key outcomes is NSC hoping to achieve this week? Especially well, you, you already achieved. Mm. I'm so happy. Mm. You guys, Africa Energy Week, because you know, I found I'm the founder of Brazilian Association of Petroleum Geologists, the largest two conferences international in Brazil about petroleum. I was the chairman. But I so envy of you guys. I'm so proud of you guys. You have a leader, NJ Duke. This guy doesn't exist. And you guys, I'm proud to be a, a, you know, a contributor of uh, African Energy Week, mm. because they it, is an institution that put the whole African people together mm. for Africa, mm. where it must be. Mm. We are, I'm not a spectator. Mm. I wanted to be together, mm. because I'm a half African. Yeah. I'm in Brazil, you know what I mean? <laughs> 140 million years ago, we are together. Do you know that? <laughs> Before yeah. the continent split. Yeah. You know the origins of Brazilian. Yeah. If you go to Rio de Janeiro, you are a Carioca <laughs> woman. Yeah. And I am a African of my heart, mm. of my mind, and I feel home. Mm. But you guys are doing a wonderful job. Thank you. And just my final question, what messages or priorities do you hope to communicate to industry stakeholders and how do you uh, view the event's role in shaping Namibia's energy sector? Come to Africa. Mm. Come to Africa and be part of the future of Africa because Africa is unique. Mm. We are in the time of the African continent. And, uh, and uh, we have to use all this. People say, oh, the carbon footprint, renewable energy, transition, this is important. Mm. But we are in the one of the highest oil and gas potential yeah. of the African continent. Yeah. Untouch it. Yeah. And people doesn't have gas to cook. Yeah. We have, there is no lights in the, in, in the bush. There is no... Uh, we have to bring all this potential and explore in a sustainable way that we know how to do in the benefit for the people. I will be the most proud guy if I, I am here, I contribute, and 95, 97% of my team, my partners and so on, are Namibians. This is why I put the first center of excellence for whole Brazil for knowledge, and I got a prize in the United States for that. And I'm bringing here training. And when I have my company here, I took a lot of guys from Namibia in 2010, 11, to Brazil for training, okay? I sit four of these people. Meg Chino, she was a young geologist. Vitória Sibeia, Selma. Anthony, yeah. where are these guys today? Mm. They are in the top of the chain yeah. with the knowledge. And they are top. I'm so proud of them. Mm. Then, it's just we have to bring knowledge. Mm. We, have to, we have to invest in people. Mm. Because without people, we can have all the resource. Yeah. We can have money. Yeah. 
But we are going to do that. Where does all the richness go? It has to be here in this country. Then I saw myself of a partner of your dream. Mm. Can I be your partner? Mm. Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> Thank <true>. you. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being here today. My, my pleasure, my pleasure. And thank you very much you. to hold us. And congratulations for all your team. Mm. Congratulations for this. It's my second time, huh? Yeah. And I'll be for life. Yeah. Even if I don't come here, I enjoy so much this atmosphere. Thank you very Fantastic. much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>